unusual, but my left hairy bollock on it. Thanks, Richard. That's a mental picture or treasure. Come on. I'm looking for Iqbal. Who is looking? I am. I don't understand. I am looking for Iqbal. That is why I am asking. Look, I only speak English. That name. We, the two of us, are looking for Iqbal. Where is he? Oh, why didn't you just say so? No need to get your knickers in a pit. He's in the bag. Oh no. You wait here. Again? Why'd you bring me? You keep an eye on things, yeah? Fine. Attractive friend tells me you're in the market for a Qmart 17. Correct. Do you even know what that is? The Qmart 17 is a rip-off of the dancing digit dog, the most popular Christmas toy of 2002. It looks exactly the same as a real device. It was a quarter of the price. And rather than dancing, it simply emitted a series of loud beeps and then fell over. Very impressive. So can I see it then? Yeah, you may. Well, can I see it then? Come on, mate, calm down. You your nick is in a tit. What does that mean? <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Who's your mama? You are mummy. Why does she always need the reassurance? You guarantee that this is a rip-off Qmat 17? Of course. Do you want it or not? I've got ten buyers lined up. Why? This tail is translucent. So? So what? The Cuma 17 had an opaque tail. This is a genuine digidog. You know nothing. Oh, I think I do. Just water, mate. It's just, I, I, I was thirsty earlier on. Oh, oh, right. So I thought because the whole context was like horrible chemicals or something. Yeah, I can understand why you thought that. I mean, yeah, definitely tap more than. Yeah. Not feel weird, but it's tap. Do you want a towel? Towel, that'd be great. Cheers, yeah. man. Nice to see you. No worries, man. Richard, Richard, he's making a run for it. Turn off in the air. I'm on it! Sorry. I have to go. Remember me? Wait, my Facebook. You always were a bit slow, weren't you? Rations? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Hayes, 
You were supposed to head that guy off. And it turns out that sniveling little turd nemesis was behind it all. Richard? Richard? This is why I work alone. Who am I? I'm Stuart Ashen. Some people know me from YouTube, where I review cheap tat, make cheapo animation, and occasionally pimp gaming computers to pay the bills. But what most people don't know is what else I do. The thing I was born to do. Who am I? I'm Ashens. could play it much worse you alone know these rules to the letter and they spell out your mission and curse obsolete hardware from years ago finding it all is your aim from thrift stores to ebay to anti-broad shows Adventure is your favorite game Recognize you? Yeah, I, I guess it's been a long time. I, I didn't know you were back in town and dressed as a chef. But I am a chef. I'm chef excellence. Oh yeah, you were the mascot for that uh, kids' food line, weren't you? Yeah. Did you ever see any of my ads? 
It's a bowl of mineral oil, yes, yes. And obviously you want to put it over us. There you go, kitties. Oh, what's wrong, kitties? Why are you not your food? Good kitties, eat your food. If you do not, you will be put inside. I'm going to shove you inside. Oh, chef get angry. Chef get angry. I get very angry. I get so angry. Oh my God! It's a food, get it? Eat it! Eat your food! Eat your food, please. Very, very angry. It's your food. It's your food. Yeah, all right, calm down. I'm, I'm going to grab a bite to eat. So it was lovely to see you again. Yeah. I know a great place. Fine. Mm -hmm. When did you move back? Mm. A few months ago. Lost my job. If you lost your job, why are you dressed as a chef? I'll always be a chef. A true chef is a chef regardless of his employment status. Fair enough. I love that job. I had a company car in the ship of baguette. The ladies loved it. But then they went and replaced me with... Oh, calm down there. You were the Ronald McDonald of cheap Italian food. I get it. Hi, Stuart. I saw the stuff you do on YouTube, you know. Reviewing bits of town, a brown sofa. It's not exactly like the Matrix, is it? Maybe the third one. You see, Jeff, this is exactly why we don't get... <sighs> Look, um, it's getting late. I've got loads of stuff to do. Nice to see you again. Are yeah. you going? I mean, yeah. what, 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 do you live around here? Um, yeah, yeah, just up near the park. Anyway, see you later. Jeff. <laughs> hey! How's it going? You don't have anywhere to sleep, do you? What? Peace, I say with you. I'm not really a come and stay on my sofa kind of guy. Oh, come you know, on, Stuart. Not... Please, just for all time's sake. Please, 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 Don't touch me! Come on, come on. They're letting all the heat out. There's heat! I'll give you the tour. This is the living room. Wow. You sure do have a lot of crap. Yes, I do. D don't touch anything, though. I like things a particular way. It might be nice from here. Good. Come on, I'll, I'll show you the rest of the house. Okay, sink's here. There's the cooker. Um, that's the fridge, obviously. Uh, dining room is through here. You've seen the living room, of course. You... What's in here? Uh, no, that's just room I use for storage. Don't worry about that. Oh, it's locked. Can I have a look? No, no, no. Um, I just remember I've lost the key. Look. It's key sorted. Why is it locked? Just leave it alone. You're going to damage something. There's no reason for you to go in there. Come on, Stu. Why is this locked?
Yeah, hi. Hey, Stuart from next door. Yeah, c- could you keep it down a bit, please? Yeah, I've got somebody over. Oh, sorry. I must have got carried away. Yeah, thanks. Bye. It's my neighbour. He's a bit of a weirdo, some kind of improvisational jazz musician or something. You never see him without this costume on. Weirdo. Come on, Chef. Nobody is allowed in here. What is all this stuff? Is this all the town you've reviewed? No. No. This is something... different. What is it? There's something you don't know about me. Something very few people know. I'm a collector. I collect very rare, but absolutely worthless collectibles. That's so cool. How long have you been collecting worthless stuff for? Since we were kids. I, I didn't know that. Oh, oh yeah, it, that was, um, it was just my thing. I didn't really tell anybody. What's this? There's nothing. What is it? Look, look, it's, it's a long and boring story and I'm tired. Come on, Stu. What's the game, child? There's the one thing I've always desired. I've never gotten hold of. That's very cryptic, Stu. But not very helpful. The game child is a rip-off of the first popular handheld games console. It was the first of its type and, to my knowledge, the only one. It was released around 1989 but only put out in very small numbers. But aren't those rip-off games everywhere? Usually. Do you really want to know? Okay. I'll start from the beginning. It was a different, more simple time. And you have to remember, these were the very early days of handheld consoles. We knew that the game child was being released, but nobody knew where. However, my sources gave me a lead. (laughs) Oh, hey, mashins, stashins, gashins, fashions. Yes, I get it, Nemesis. God, you're all right. Pain in the ass. A right pain in your mum's ass. <laughs> Guess where I'm going. Don't care. Guess. Don't care. Guess. Still don't care. Guess. Your weekly rectal exam. No. That's Thursday. I'm going to go buy the only game child in Norwich. Oh, oh, that's where you're going, isn't it, Stuart? You thought you were the only one who knew. Yeah, well, you're not getting this one first, you little git. Hey, Nemesis! It's Nemesis, you idiot! Hey, sir, sir, sir! Where are you going? Sorry, Jeff, I'm in the middle of something. Oh, do you want to try some of this? It's my own recipe. It's a Pakistani and Italian oh, No time, no time. Oh, what, can I come with you? Not this time, I'm oh, sorry. On. Come on, Stuart! Ah! Well, that's it. That little prat got the game child, and I didn't. Wow. And in all that time, we've not been able to come across another game child. No, I haven't. But I thought you were some sort of super collector of collectibles. Well, it doesn't mean I can magic one out of thin air, does it? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Look, there is more to the story than that. There was a total recall on the product. Turns out it was frying kids' eyes and burning their fingers. God. No. Only 200 were sold, and do you want to know the weird thing? The company refunded more money than they were actually sold for. Even Nemesis handed his in. Wow. 
And it was the terrifically good company, your terrifically good company, who issued the refunds. There's nothing terrific or good about them, Stuart. I've heard rumours that there's one still out there, but I've never been able to track it down. So there's a game chart out there? Maybe. I don't know what the... Come on, you've got to be a bit curious, right? I mean, look at all this stuff. You've got to be the best collector of collectibles. I'm sure you could find it. We could find it. It could be our quest. A what? A quest, you know, a long, arduous search for something. A kind of, a kind of journey to an ultimate goal. I know what a quest is, Dr. Thesaurus, but I'm not interested in going on. Come on, it could be fun. Come on. Come on. No, I'm, I'm tired now. You can, you can sleep in the back room. <sighs> Stewart. Sofa's talking to me again. What the? Ah, what are to these? Only the cool kids were allowed to be in gold. Oh, come on! This is unlikely at best! Find the game child, you death git! Oh right, find the game child. Find the game child, it is your destiny. But where do I find it? You know what you have to do. A little help would be good. Figure it out yourself, you lazy bastard. Ow! Oh, no. Oh, that's starting to hurt! Oh, 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 right, right. That's been very painful now! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that was bloody obvious, wasn't it? There's nothing worse than a preachy claymation. Morning, <sighs> Stu! What you doing? I'm going on a trip. Where? To find the game, child. A quest? It's not a quest. Okay, fine. Well, where do we begin? Not we, me. But it was my idea. Yeah, well, I work alone. I work alone? That's stupid. No, it isn't. You're stupid. You see? You say I haven't changed. You haven't changed either. Oh, Mr. Secretive, you didn't touch my things. Everything's so precious. Would it really kill you to let me join you? Okay, you can come, but don't slow me down, yeah? Oh, great. Oh, this is going to be so good. This is going to be amazing. What are you wearing? Well, well, you know, there's a, there's a time and place, and, you know, I, 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 it, it's one of those things where I like to keep on. You know what it's like? You know, you've never been caught before, and you... you, 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 you 
keeps me warm! Go and get ready and change out of that. It's cold. It's cold. Hi, Ashens. Hey, sir. I'm Richard. It's nice to meet you. I'm Chef Excellence. Fair enough. Well, it looks like we're going on another mission. Well, I am. Great. What are we tracking down? Sorry, Richard. I'm doing this one alone. Well, and Jeff here is going to tag along. Well, well, why can't I go? Because you let me down too many times. I'm sorry, Stuart. I'll make up to you. Maybe next time, eh? Sorry, buddy. So where are we headed, Stuart? I've seen my old professor from uni, and he is not going to be happy to see me. Why? This is complicated. That's not very helpful, Stuart. What happened? Uh, I left his research team in the middle of a big project. Oh, why? It was to do with my girlfriend at the time. is a master of all communication. You're right then, my good man. I ain't trusting old partner. Are you a far gone dicky boy? Let me handle this. Hey, you're a far gone dicky old boy. Yes, and you want some fool to ride him. Will you come? What are you doing here, my man? We may see the professor, eh? I? Nope, so no one get to see the professor, do we? I got a model with him. That's right important. You ain't going through them doors. I'm not getting mardy now. Tell him I stir ash and what's it to see him. Hold you hard. I didn't know you could speak Klingon. Go find us somewhere to see you. Excuse me. Pile of whatever's cheapest, please. Hi. Hello. So, uh, nice spoon you got there. I'm trying to bend it. With my mind. You try. Oh, no, I'm all right, mate. Uh, do not try to bend the spoon. But, but you said to bend the spoon. To bend you? the spoon is impossible. Only try to realize the truth. There's no spoon. There is a spoon. You just gave it to me. I've got it right here. The spoon only exists in your mind. No, it exists in my hand. Look. Physically real spoon. It does not exist. Right. Peanuts on the spoon. The peanuts are real. But the spoon? No, sir. Yes, sir. Are they floating in the mm. air? Are they floaty peanuts? No, it's a bloody real. spoon. It's, it's in my hand. Real. This is it's clearly a spoon. Look, spoon, 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 spoon. There. See? Jesus. I wish people would stop doing that to me. See, what was that about over there? I don't know, just some guys really confused by the existence of cutlery. Oh. So how can this professor help us on our quest? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I mean mission. Mm. 
is the most brilliant man I've ever known, and he's as obsessed with a game child as I am. Mm. Come on in, boy. Cheers. Uh, give us a move. Ready? Stay here, yeah? Oh, wait. Let me come with you, Stu. Come down with me out here. Not with... Spoon Boy. Fuck oh, him. Ah. Now it looks better that I go alone, yeah? But, um, grab yourself a pint or something. Stuart Ashen. Professor, it's been a while. You've got a nerve showing up here. Well, I'm here. Surely we can forget about all that. You ruined me, Ashen. I ruined you? You're the one who had sex with my girlfriend? You still upset about that? That was years ago. <laughs> you hold a grudge, don't you? She was just using me, if that's any consolation. No, it isn't. You were my lecturer, and you slept with the only girl I ever cared about. Okay, okay, point taken. But you didn't have to tell the vice-chancellor. Not this again. I didn't tell anybody. Everything fell apart after you left. I mean, a year later, I was thrown out of the university. So what do you want, Stuart? Yes! Another! for the game child after all these years. Do you know where it is? I might. But you'd have to prove yourself worthy of this quest. It's not a quest. I'm just looking for an old video game system. That was always one of your failings. You could never see the big picture. What do I have to do? You must pass the test. What is this test? You must beat me at the most intensive game of skill and wits ever devised by the human mind. Space attack! Is that all? I'll oh, have you know, I am a very formidable opponent. Yeah, and I was Norfolk space attack champion 1985, 86, 87 and 89. 88 was cancelled. Due to illness. You can do it. You can do it. The spoon doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's not real. You can bend it with your mind. Do it. Come on. Push yourself. Bend the spoon. Come on. Come on. Who's a game child? Oh, stop it! Tell me! Ow. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! What's that? What am I looking at? What? Yes! The spoon doesn't exist! It doesn't exist! I told you all! I know. I know. Dicks! Tell me! Ow. Tell me! You and your bloody quest! It's not a quest. Look, I don't know where the game child is. But I can help you on your journey. First, you must find the oracle. That's the best you can do? Oh, and, and there's this.
Abadah. Is that a place in Wales? Never followed it up. Couldn't you have just told me this in the first place? Oh, I'm just you know, a little bit lonely back here. <laughs> oh, do, you, uh, do you ever see her? Who? Your ex, Ashley. No, I haven't seen her since she dumped me. But why? As I said, very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I've never really apologised to you for what I did. No, you didn't. Mm. No, I didn't. And you still haven't. All oh, right. Mm. Look, Stuart, I, I really am sorry. I hope you can forgive me. It's been good to see you again, Professor. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, and just one word of advice. Don't trust anybody. Even you? No, no, I'm totally trustworthy. Don't trust anyone else. Thanks. Stuart! 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 Hey! <laughs> oh, I bet a spoon. You're <laughs> freaking right, man. Good My mind! Good for you. Come on, let's go. Put you your see? hand up. Put your hand around here. Yes, you are so clear. Get off the chair. Come on. I can help. Almost as bad as Richard. <laughs> Who? Oh, hi there. My name, of course, is Jeff Brilliant. And everything that I make is, well, brilliant. I'm here to tell you about my brand new food for kiddies, made by me, Chef Brilliance. Now just take a look at what you've been putting into your kids' mouths. Mm. Now, did you know that the more colorful your food is, the better it is? And all I have to do is sprinkle a little bit of Brilliance on it. <laughs> That's why my brand new range only comes in color. And that's what we at the Terrifically Good Company call Terrifically Good Food. <laughs> Chef Brilliance's almost lasagna-like food products. Only in color. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't want to talk about it. Fine. No, I mean, it's too painful to talk about. That's, that's fine. I respect your privacy. Get off my back, man. Shut up and listen. I missed my job. What happened? I thought we were encouraging kids to eat more healthily. But then one night I was working late and wandered into the lab. One of the things I loved most about my job was, you know, I was helping kids and I thought all the foods we made were natural and organic. But I learned otherwise. What I saw in that lab, what I saw, it was unspeakable. That's when they replaced me with. That's when they replaced me with Chef Brilliance. He's taken everything from me. Everything. Oh, I'd do anything to get my 
my jump back. <sighs> there, there. Everything is going to be fine. Thanks, Stuart. You know, you're a really good friend. So anyway, yeah. likes for putting the hat. Yeah, yeah. Who's the oracle? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to work out. <laughs> the answer is more obvious than you think. What does that mean? What is it? Come on, let's go. Again. Hello, Stuart. Hello? Hello? Ashen's your last styling me! Oh, that is so annoying! Now, where was I? It's totally interrupted my creative flow! Don't look behind us. I think I said, don't look behind us. I think we're being followed. Why are you wearing orange? What? It's the only one they had at the store. I it's all colour. Wear black. Who will be following us? A right pain in my ass. Huh? Right, on the count of three, we'll make a run for it, okay? Oh, wait, you mean one, two, and three? Or one, two? No, we're not doing this one. Just run. You know run, what? Run, 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 run. Run. Who was that? I'll tell you later. Let's go. Once in a while. Read this. The Oracle computer. What is it? It's something that just happens to be in this very building. Well, what is this place? It's a library. A library? Wow. Hi, Marion. Stuart? It's been a while. Yeah, yes. Sorry about that. I've, I've um, been busy. Mm, let me guess. You've been busy with your secret missions that must be undertaken alone. Or is it, I'm an island? Or, I've got one for you, Stuart. I'm too stupid to know when I've got a really good thing going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, so, something like that. Um, th th this is Jeff. Have you met Jeff? Hello. Hello, Jeff. This is really awkward. Marion, uh, I said I'm sorry. Is there any chance we can get back into the archives? Not a chance. You know you're not allowed back there. Please? Plus, they've just installed a new security system. It'll be the last time, I promise. Why do you keep coming back here, Stuart? Yeah, why do you keep on coming back here? I don't understand you. Fine, but don't let anyone see you. Thanks, Marion. I owe you one. You owe me more than one. It's true. What's all that about? It's a long story. Oh, what's with all the big secrets? Look, we went out on a couple of dates, but, you know, my life's very complicated, so, um... Stuart, life is only as complicated as you make it. Yes, thanks, Socrates. Come on. You know, Stuart, I really like it back here. Yeah, you know, I, I like to think of it as the bowels of the library. The, this would be the lower intestine. Ah, well, if this is the lower intestine, what does that make us? Uh, Let's go. I have no memory of this place. Oh, we're not, are we? Oh, no, no, it's just down here. 
this. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking then. somewhere. Hey, Jeff. Jeff, help us with this. Careful. Oh, a door. Yeah, a locked door. Hang on. I can take care of this. No, I can't. It's magnetically sealed. There's got to be a trigger around here somewhere. Well, what's the trigger look like? I'll know it when I see it. Well, this shouldn't be here. <laughs> Council tax is so high. Oh, I thought we were going to die. Right. Well, Jeff, meet the Oracle. Oh, wow. It looks like total crap. Well, the 18Z80 compatible with proprietary serial buffer used as a localized teletext server. Stuart, it's all the stuff you know. It's so inspiring. Oh, really, really depressing. So it shouldn't be too hard to access this thing. Hey! Shift over. I'll find the back door. I always find the back door. Yeah, I've heard the rumours. Look, just shift. Yeah. No, 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 no. You shift over. Yeah, you you gonna break Don't manhandle me! Oh. Ow! Oh, get oh, off. Oh. Oh. You know what you're, you're doing? You're gonna break it. You're gonna break my hand! What's going on? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I want you out now. Come on, Marion. We only just got in and the floor's already collapsed, so it's not going to get any worse. OK, you can stay. But on one condition, you have to let me join you on this mission. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's not a good idea. It'd be really boring. Stuart, I get about three people a month in here. Anything you're doing has to be more exciting than that. Come on, Stuart, yes! Let her join us and be great! Come on, we can do it in the company. Oh, you know, we'll be like the free musketeers! So, you know, there are guys and, you know, you're... Well, you're obviously a, a lady. A very, very lovely lady. Well, thank you, Jeff. Uh, yeah, that's enough of that. Uh, fine, you can come, but don't slow us down, yeah? <sighs> I won't, I promise. Right, do you need help with the password? No, no, of course not. Oh, you a clever boy. Right, time to find the game child. Oh. It looks like a map, but what use is a map without any place names? Well, I'll print it anyway. Come on, let's go! 
Take out any books, you idiot. You know what? I've had a really horrible day, and you're very annoying. So leave. I was just telling your friend. We're closed. Now get out. I will go, but you'll be joining us. What are you talking about? We should have done that, Stuart. She seemed really nice. She is. She, she, she is really nice. It's just... I don't want to get her mixed up in this insanity. I know. You like her, don't you? You like her. Ash and Dan Marion. Sitting in a G. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yeah, you're all right. It's not like that. So what's the problem? She obviously likes you. Uh, I don't want to talk about her. Oh, come on, Stuart. Don't be like that. I like to keep my life simple. I'm not accountable to anybody else. Nobody's accountable to me. Otherwise, things get messy. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. You're not an island, Stuart. No man is an island. Well, it works for me. I don't think it does. So just drop it, yeah? Come on, Captain Unaccountable. Why are you avoiding? Jeff, enough. Oh, what's wrong with you? They look fine, all right. You really want to know? Of course I do. <sighs> well, well, look, look, school, I was the, the weird kid who knew all the answers and was obsessed with tat. And, you know, that's... Not really a recipe for popularity or friends. And then at university, I thought I'd found somewhere I fit in, but then the professor went, well, you know that story. Whenever I get close to people, I get hurt. I was your friend at school. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Well, has it been that horrible having me about? Yes. It's been the worst thing that's ever happened to me in a long time. <laughs> Just right, Ashley. You can't keep shutting people out forever. It makes for a very lonely life. Trust me. I know. Exactly. See, that's what I'm trying to tell him. He just doesn't listen. A life without risk is a life half-lived. Do you mind? This is a private conversation. I'm sorry. So where are we heading? Well, I know somebody who can help us with the map. It's, it's just that he's in a secure psychiatric facility. Seriously? I'm none of your acquaintances, not tell nut jobs. Um, Richard's pretty normal. weather we're having for this time of year. It's nice for this month on average. Um, You've got ten minutes.
Fine, cheers. How's you? I'm oh, not too bad, considering I've been in here for several years for no good reason. You killed 17 people because they beat your high score at Donkey Kong, Larry. Well, there's that. Who's your man? I'm Chef Excellence. Well, you want to be careful about going on adventures then. Last time I was with him, I lost one of my fingers. But you've got five fingers. I had six. <gasps> It's true. Uh, look, we need some information. Anything you want, mate. About the game, child. Anything except that, mate. Look, can you just have a look at this map and tell us what place it is? I've told you about the game, child, before. I'm not telling you. Please, it's really important. What is your ID card is it Sedillion? Run! Ring, 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 ring. I know where that place is. Ah, oh, damn it, Ashens! I better go and find him, otherwise he'll be calling me in his ass all day. <laughs> I just got sidetracked. Did you thought you'd been captured or something? Yeah, I bet you would have loved that, wouldn't you? What? What are you, what are you talking about? A <laughs> minute. You don't want me in this mission, and you have never wanted me around. No, that's not true. It what is you? true. You'll just ditch me. Just like everyone else has my entire life. Look, I don't know what's gotten into you, but I should have left you in there with all the other lunatics. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm not... I'm not right, am I? At least you're not wearing that chef's hat anymore. Come on, let's go. Steward Ashen! What the hell? What, what are you doing here? You've been arse standing me all day. Oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Yes, it was quite annoying, but it gives me the opportunity to apologise to you in person. I appreciate that my music may have been a trifle too loud. For this, I am sorry. It's all right, yeah. Um, uh, this is my friend Jeff. Hey, great costume. This is not a costume, weirdo. Anyway, I have overheard your situation, and I have the necessary experience to help you on your quest. Not a quest, it's a mission. Yeah, whatever. I shall lead you to Sardinian. We're gonna walk to Sardinian? One does not simply walk into Sardinian. Come with me. Turned, champion of the shining death's head. 
the nightmares beyond this Gogor still hold much danger for thee. Ugh. Ashes, come with me. What happened here? <laughs> the creatures beyond this wall have never proffered an explanation. <gasps> And those that have sought one have found only madness. I bet the house prices are cheap, though. Mm. Not if you want to place about the sea fronts. Mm. Yeah. You don't want to mess around in there. This will stop most of the horrors, but probably won't help me against the tentacle head things. Hey, what are you going to do? You can't be too careful. I can't let you do this. This is my mission. You would never survive in that place. Come in, Stu. Let someone help you for once. Okay, okay. Good luck. Thank you. Do not cross the fog wall. The silver scum will return. The skulls and got his lunchbox. What? Right, back in a minute. What the hell was that? Did you make a stick yourself or eBay? Did you guys, like, wait here all day? Or do you have somewhere to go, like, in the evening when it gets a bit cold? Are you like the union or something together? Or is there a civil partnership? Come on with me. You're right, mate. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Don't, don't. Oh. You don't want to. Oh. The tentacle-headed things. That one. Too many. I'm sorry. Help me. Take this mask off. Let me look on you with... With your own eyes, yes. I'm dying here. I can grow whatever I like. Sorry, sorry. You're quite obviously the famous actor Warwick Davis. Yes. You may remember me from the uh, Star Wars and Harry Potter franchises as well as the popular 1988 fantasy film Willow. But how can you be the Silver Skull? I just put this mask on. It's not rocket science. But you're the wrong height. You don't have to be a certain height to wear a mask, you know. No, I mean, the Silver Skull is tall, isn't he? I mean, act tall. It's called acting. I mean, it's like a, a matter of physics, isn't it? Also, going to be five foot seven to understand the basic principles of science now. No, no, that's, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh, crestfallen guy, help me out here. You know what you are? You're an idiot and a bigot. Don't, no, what's it? You got the wrong end of the. Did you... <laughs> I got you. What? I was just pulling your leg. I thought it up with that guy over there. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. So, so you're not really dying then? No, I'm fine. And you're not really Warwick Davis? I'm quite clearly Warwick Davis. Oh, right, right. Here, give me a hand up. He's okay. He's looking, he's looking good. What? Oh, forget it. See you later. See you later. Thanks for saving my life. Folks. Hi, I'm Stuart. Um, who are you? Hey, dude, they call me the guy. So, presumably, you guide people places? Yeah, man. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Look, you have saved my life, and I am in your debt. The Silver Skull told me of your quest to find the game child. 
Why do people keep calling it a quest? I know where the game child is, man. Oh, fantastic! Where? Follow me. <laughs> but before we go, I must warn you both. The path is not going to be easy. It's going to be filled with treacherous obstacles and danger and stuff. Understood. Very well. Stuart, it's filled with stuff. That could be anything. I know. Oh, I know. On. Calm down. Oh, come on, guy. We've been walking for days. Uh, it's not too far now. My legs are killing me. It's my no. feet as well. His moaning is killing me. Treat the frisbee as if it was your own child. <laughs> Throw it out of your hands like the firstborn son. You're really channeling Mother Earth's energy. This is like Tron Legacy, only less disappointing. There's got stuff some, in my face. I've got some, uh, some guano. Nature's eating me! Sure, I did it. <laughs> the lamest thing I've ever seen in my life. You can talk, kiddie boy. Watch both ways. And, uh, no! Tell you, be careful on roads. I got someone I want to introduce you to. He's a good old friend of mine. Isn't that right, you son of a birch? <laughs> we need to be cracking on, mate. Very special guy. Come on, come on, guy. Let's start. Guide, come on. Oh. We'll always have Woodstock. I'm about to channel the energy from the frisbee. I'm flowing the yeah, air. Better. I like that. And then the yeah, yeah, thing. Thing, man. I just want to give a frisbee. That's not cool, man. It's home to a good time. <laughs> Clean bowels. Hey, that's the nice guy. We're here, man. You said it was going to be dangerous. Well, you know, that coffee was hot. And I heard my finger playing frisbee. Fair enough. So the game child's in here. What, what is this place? The game child has traveled across many paths. And this is its current home. A really super cool, hip, conceptual artist has used it in his latest exhibition. So how do we get past the electric fence? Oh, this fence isn't actually electrified, it's just an illusion, dude. Like, designed to deter the uninitiated. You sure? Have I steered you the wrong way yet? Well, no, I mean, look at the sun. Then just chill. Trust me, dude. It shouldn't be tested or something first, at least. There is no need for tests when you have faith in your own knowledge. Oh, oh, God. God. Bloody hell! Oh, it's got something oh, it's God. God. Oh, God. Hang in there, man. You're gonna be fine unless you're already dead. I can't tell. Electricity is your friend. Go with the flow. I am oh, running out of reassuring things to say. The answer kill you, not the vault. <laughs> Poor guy. On the plus side, I think he's shorted out the electric fence. Well, at least his death was not entirely in vain. What shall we do with the body? Don't worry, Stuart. A true chef means helping one of his fellow comrades. Whoa, 
hang on there. There could be alarms and sensors and red laser beams. You know, like those ones in the movies. Oh. Let me check. Don't worry, Stuart. A true chef will always defer to a security expert. Good for you. Yep. Yeah, just as I thought. Red lasers everywhere. I'm going to need to talk you through this. You up to it? I don't know. I just... You can do this, Jeff. I believe in you. You believe in me? I can do this, Stuart. I can do this. I can do this. Right. Focus. Look straight ahead. And do exactly as I say when I say it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three steps forward. Stop. Excellent. Now raise your left arm in the air. Like this? Yep. Higher, actually. Like this? Higher as you can get it. Yep. That's good. Very good. Now left leg, bring it up. Yep, a little bit higher. Is that okay? Good. Oh, Very God. good. Now spin your foot around in a circle. Like a little this? bit wider. Am I looking, Stu? Now, with your right arm, yeah. pat your head. Like this? That's it. <laughs> Keep going. It's good. Calm down. Calm down. Keep... <laughs> There's that thing there! Oh, God. I thought I was going to die. Man, you always were gullible. Come on, let's get this thing. Stuart, it's... it's... What's a game child when it's at home? I had it. I, I had it in my hands. I know. I, I don't understand. How, how did they know we were there? I don't know. We must have tripped an alarm or something. Yeah, they couldn't possibly have got there that quickly, though. I don't know! What's got into you? Nothing's got into me. Nothing. I'm fine. You've been nailed. Oh, excellent. Just him. What? Uh, Ashley? What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with that prat? Idiot. Stewie. Nice to see you again. How long has it been? What, since you slept with the professor, dumped me and disappeared? About ten years, five months, and two days. Oh, Stewie. It's Stuart, not Stewie. I always hated Stewie. Fine, Stuart. First off, Nemesis and I, we're... friends. Nemesis is a ridiculous name. I told you, it's pronounced Nemesai. Stress the eye. It's Japanese. Yes. And more importantly, your friend Jeff here, <laughs> he works for me. I'm really sorry, Stuart. They're giving my old job back. 
Oh I just can't say no. I couldn't. You bastard! You ridiculous fake chef bastard! You can't even cook! No chef doesn't need to know how to cook or boil water or... And your friend Marion? Well, she also works for me now. Fine. What has all this got to do with me? You still haven't worked it out. We want the game child. I always thought your obsession with the game child was so childish. Oh, if only I had known that Daddy enlightened me. Oh, your father, yeah. Yeah, the great man who spent the last half of his life in a straitjacket. He never told you you were pretty when you were a little girl. Tragic. I'm over that! <sighs> we couldn't find the game, child. But I knew you could. You just needed a little encouragement. So it was you who sent the magazine and that text? Everybody leave. I want to be alone with Stuart. Idiot. Ashens and Ashley. I always found that rather amusing. Well, you always were easily amused. We did have fun back then. Young love and all that. But I won't lie to you, Stuart. You were just a stepping stone. In my youth, I was a bit insensitive. But who would have known that spending time with little old you would reveal the importance of the game child? The game child is inherently worthless. Oh, Stuart. Even worthless things have their uses sometimes. Oh, and by the way, it was me all those years ago that told the university about my affair with the professor. Oopsie. Do you mind? Sorry. Goodbye, Stuart. Enjoy your stay. Man, that is one crazy broad. You're not wrong. Thanks. You okay? You seem a bit down. Sorry, yeah, I just had a really bad couple of days. Just want to tell me about it? I don't know, I just, just sometimes I wonder why I bother. You can't be like that. Not you. Thousands of people cherish your work and all the hilarious things you make. 
Well, you're a hero of mine. Really? Hell yeah! Look, I know some people don't understand why you do what you do, but that's no reason to give up. Keep on going! Do it for your fans! Yeah, yeah, you're right. People have always doubted me and it's never stopped me before. Why should it stop me now? Thanks, Anonymous Stranger. You've been extremely helpful. Oh my god, not a problem! Glad I can help! You're not gonna believe this! Guess who I just met! Guess! Oh! I just met Simon Pegg! I know! I know! Citizen! Citizen! Get in the car, citizen! You're not safe here! Oh, no, no, no that's, that's fine. I'm Get fine. Get in the car! Your very life hangs in the balance, my friend. Back up, baby. Back up. It's a Dutch bead in here. Quite a Dutch bead. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Woo! Dodged a bullet there, mate. Really? How? A lot of weirdos around here, my friend. We've been beaten up in the alleyway just there. Five times. By the same old lady. Why did you keep going back? Oh, it's kind of hot. Think about it. Need a lift anywhere then, mate? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that is why I got in the car. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the headquarters of the terrifically good company. Are you going to the old industrial estate? Well, I don't know, we're pretty busy. Sure are, big balls. Sure are. Thanks, thanks. Um, so are you two off to a fancy dress party or something? What? No. <laughs> We're night heading decoy. Britain's best superheroes. Britain's only superheroes. Why? Are you going to a party? Oh, God, no. No, no, I hate parties. No, um, I'm actually on a mission at the moment. Mm? That's a shame. We love parties. Make love to the music! Oh no, God, no, hey. don't ever make love to the music. Sorry. It doesn't like it. Just drive. Sorry. Here we are, sugar tits. Thanks. You know, you really shouldn't do this mission of yours alone. Very dangerous. Yeah, I've been thinking about that a lot recently. Thanks ever so much for the lift. Wait. It's very kind. Take these. Thanks. And this. Never know when that's going to come in handy. Probably for tying something or someone up and making objects far away seem nearer than they are, but it's up to you. Well, well thanks. That's, that's very kind of you. And here, Jesus. have this. It's a complimentary limited edition knighthood and decoy cheese knife. It's great, it's great. Remember, cut the cheese with knighthood and decoy. <laughs> Catchy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the culinary utensils. No worries. You're a sweet, sweet man. Take care. Yeah, good luck with the mish. <laughs> nice guy. Very nice, very nice. Didn't leave a tip though. Yeah, like petrol's free. I gave him my bloody binoculars as well. Yeah, why did you do that? I don't know, I don't know. I'm socially awkward. I gave him a cheese knife. Yeah, but that's merchandise, that's marketing. marketing. Yeah. yeah, so he will remember us. Yeah. Every time he cuts the, the cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Stuart. Oh, look, it's Chef Judas. A true chef knows how to stab his friends in the back. You just couldn't let it go, could you? You couldn't stand to see my helping lights. What? Enough! Give me that. What are you doing? You got so Stuart. I said drop him! Put your hands up. I said down! Get down! So it was all a trick then? Yeah, yeah, it was uh 
It was all just a ruse, just to kind of help us on a, you know, on a quest on, uh, I mean, on a... No, no, it wasn't Stuart. I did betray you. I'm sorry, I... I just really wanted my old life back. But then when I finally had it, I realized I didn't need it anymore. It's, it's all right, my dad. It's been good having you along, and I know I haven't exactly been the best friend. Thanks, Stuart. Oh, God, I forgot. We've got Marion. Yeah, yeah, she's working with... No, they've taken a captive. Really? Yeah. I've got an idea. You've seen the original Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, of course I have. I've seen all the Star Wars films. Now, you remember when Luke and Han dress up in Stormtrooper armor to rescue Leia from the Death Star? Yeah, we could do exactly that. Mate. That's not the right holster for that blaster rifle. Uh, I think I know where we went wrong. Right, what's the plan? Well, the good thing about my betrayal was I was able to figure out where they're keeping Marion and the game child. Excellent. Well, all we need to do is hack into their computer system and override their security, which you should be able to do in no time at all. Thanks, Jeff, but I'm sure you can handle this. Thanks, Stuart. Well, it's time to do some serious hacking. You know what I'm saying? Place me with. Now she has brilliance. It looks like it's been booted down security. Well, that must make you happy. You know what? It doesn't. Oh, great distraction was run away from the door. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. We'll work something out together. It's alright, Stuart. I want to do this. I had women protect cars off living the high life I was living the dream. Oh, look at me. Bloody sick, you could do it. My mother could see me now. <laughs> mother. <laughs> <laughs>
nevertheless. Aren't you tired of losing to me? Even I'm bored of it. You're not gonna win this time. You're old. A relic of a bygone era. I am a better man in every way. <laughs> You're just an... Oh! Idiot. You! Why did you have to come back and take my job? It was my job first! You were gone! It was mine! 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 I'm so sorry about this. I'm right there. It's fine, it's yeah. fine. Just bloody hurry up before they come back. It's all right. I've actually done this before. I met your ex-girlfriend. So that's the type you go for, is it? Completely mental? But it was a long time ago. But you have to cut this whole story. Wait. Yeah, let's go in. from your little girlfriend. Back up. No misbehaving now. Stuart. But I still need your help. It seems that game child is encrypted and I really need access to it. What you really need is access to psychiatric help. <sighs> don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. I'll give you one minute before I pull the trigger. Starting now. This is ridiculous. This thing can't be encrypted. But it is. I'm sure you want to know what's so secret about the game, child. It's something so special that even you didn't know. When assembled together correctly, the game child makes a nuclear bomb. Good God, what are you talking about? You're as mental as your father. He wasn't mental! It was a misdiagnosis! 45 seconds. It was all very top secret. It was at the end of the Cold War. But you couldn't walk more than 10 feet without tripping over some plutonium. A deranged factory worker had an idea to smuggle a simple yet effective nuclear weapon in the first shipment of game charts. That's absolutely ridiculous. 30 seconds. Our company was responsible for the shipment, but Daddy only realized after he shipped the first 200. He of course recalled them. Daddy always wanted his own nuclear bomb. Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Oh, 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 not until I pulled your strings. <laughs> and here we are. So what was your plan? Were you going to set it off and hide in a fridge? <laughs> Ten seconds. Hurry, right. Stuart. My finger might slip. You know, I've always wanted to blow something up. I'm not sure what's what. Maybe a pub or a house full of collectors. 
vegetables. Oh, I'm up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Got it. Thank you, Konami. <sighs> Thank you, Stuart. You see, we are good for each other. I know how to motivate you. Ashens, you go lucky this time, but don't think that changes anything. I am still your superior in every... <sighs> I was expecting that, you idiot. So you are expecting it, but you didn't get out of the way. I like being punched in the face. You like being punched in the face. Yes. No. Let's see how you like it. There is no defense against the crane kick, old man. <laughs> walk towards me, then. No. It doesn't work unless you're walking towards me. I don't care. Oh, come on. No. Come on. Ah, I'm getting crap. Good. I'm, I'm going to switch legs. Don't attack me while I'm changing over. Do you promise? No. Please promise. No! Pretty please! Okay, fine. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I should have seen that coming! Oh, my balls! My precious balls! You always were a pathetic excuse for a chef. You never did deserve to wear the uniform. <laughs> but you gotta fight back! Of course no, I'm a strict pacifist. For a true chef knows that he must never harm another person, for even his worst enemy is still a potential customer. <sighs> never thought of it like that. Stuart! I have the game child now. You know, this quest has taught me a lot of things, and it's taught me that this is not important. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The game child is the only thing that's important to you. Maybe once, but you're forgetting something. You told me that this is special and of immense value. And your point is? Things of worth are worthless to me. Sorry I got you mixed up in all this. <laughs> Don't apologise. That was amazing. Hardly ever get to punch anyone in the library. Is, uh, is everything okay? It is now. It is now. So I guess someone should probably call the police or something? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um... Oh, I've lost my phone. Oh, I don't believe it. Mine was in the satchel. There, there was a call box when we came in. Just, just around the corner. Has the anyone door, got any change? Oh, well, that's, that's a good a point. Change. Believe it, I had some. I bought some mints. Some for me. I'm home. Then I dropped the mints. It's 999. It's free. Is it? Yeah. That's not. So, is that, it's only free after 6 p.m., though, isn't it? No, it's always free. It's an emergency. They charge you. They charge you. Yeah. I've been charged for that before. Oh. Uh, Oh, God, she's waking up. Stamp on her. Stamp on her. Ah! <laughs> I never loved you. I know. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> 
So what do we do now? Well, isn't it obvious? We're gonna have a party! Oh, no, you know I don't like parties on an island. Oh, come on, Stu. Haven't you learned anything on this quest? All right, all right. We're gonna have a party. Yes, 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 yes! No! Everything that is excellent. Um, but you know, it's not just about me. I'd love to hear from you guys as well. So, you know, make sure you leave me a comment below. Thumbs up! So, yeah, basically that's it. You know, I, I realize I didn't need anybody else. And I could do it on my own. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so, what are we looking at exactly? Yeah. It was my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. What's YouTube? Yeah, how do you spell that? Y YouTube? I'm just asking. No, 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 you, you too. Yeah, you're the tube, mate. Take the piss out of someone because they don't understand. No, no. Richard? Ah, oh, Stuart! You're not dead, are you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since you told me about the game charm, I just had to try it. One of the ones full of plutonium? Yeah. So I called in a favor with MI6. <coughs> I think I might have radiation poisoning. Do you think I could sue someone? Maybe. Maybe. Yes! I'm gonna be rich! <laughs> I'll see you back at the party. Stuart, come back to the party. it is you complete noob <laughs> oh I, and you think that tough guy beard makes you look tough <laughs> you are both complete idiots <laughs> oh okay <laughs> you're gonna beat me up that old jail cliche <laughs> okay yeah yeah this is happening <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm not scared. Oh, oh, that didn't hurt. Oh, that didn't hurt either. Oh, 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 oh you just broke my pelvis. Oh, my sweet pelvis.
What does your daddy like to do? Well, my name is Ashens, and I like to tat. Hello! <laughs> and maybe, maybe I want a game child. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Yeah. Hang about. No, I don't. You must die, you know? And everybody, everybody must die. Kaboom! <laughs> Calm down now. Where are your slippers? Look, your feet will get cold, won't they? I don't want my slippers. They're full of plutonium. Well, that'll just keep your feet warm, won't it? Let's get them on, shall we? Oh. Yeah. Slip into those. But everybody died. I know they did. They all died. They went kaboom. Yeah, they went kaboom. Let's get you up, shall we? There we go. There we go, one foot in. Toasty. Yeah, that I feels like toasty. Toast. I like eating toast. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Nice and toasty. Nice and toasty, like everybody dying. Like everybody dying. Oh, like boom. Yeah, kaboom. 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 Goodbye.